This is always the sort of amazing thing about the Black Canyon is just stood from here, you wouldn't think there is a 2,000 foot hole in the ground between us and the other side. The, not the Grand Canyon, the Black Canyon of the Gemerson, which is very steep, very deep, and carved through exceptionally hard rocks. Indeed, the rocks that it's carved through, so this is the visitor center, the rocks that it's carved through are about, ooh, is it 1.7 billion years old, which is actually fairly similar in age. So I reckon these are probably the same type, the, the, these rocks formed in the same event that formed the Vishnu schists of the Grand Canyon. Anyway, I'm going to move along the rim a little more, because you do get some absolutely spectacular views here. You just sort of walk up and look down half a mile to the river below. Okay, so let's go over very quickly the formation of the Black Canyon. And it starts about 70 million years ago when the Rockies were uplifted and I think it's the Green River forms. And the Green River runs across the plateau. And the uplift also brings up this formation, this big Permian, not Permian, Precambrian granite stuff, which is a mixture of all of it was like this to begin with, such that um, the black stuff is largely the same as the Vishnu schists in... Um, uh, Grand Canyon and the injected stuff is more recent but it's still about a billion years old so the black stuff's about two billion years old the patterns in it the pinkish patterns that look like this up close um, they're about a billion years old or so yeah one to two billion and then there was volcanism associated with the uplift of the Rockies and to the north I think it's the Elk Mountains and to the south there's this huge expanse of the San Juans and they're all basically volcanic in nature and they filled up the Gunnison Basin with ash and volcanic debris and that set the stage for uh, the river then cuts the an easy line through the volcanic ash but then it finds itself um, once it started inching into the uh, Gunnison formation, it finds itself trapped here. It's got nowhere else to go. So it just keeps on cutting down. So if the river had its um, uh, pre-volcanic eruption choice, it would have just run a, it would have just run around the outside of this very hard formation. But because it cut its early line through this volcanic debris, it finds itself trapped into cutting into the Gunnison formation. This is what we in chemistry would call a, a path function. So it actually matters. The order in which things happen matter. So, for instance, a state function would be something like dropping a ball. doesn't matter how the ball actually loses this much height. It will gain exactly the same amount of potential energy. doesn't matter if it goes up a bit first and then comes down. doesn't matter if it comes straight down. 
to, it's a state function. It only depends on the start and end points. Now, path functions are different. They actually they care what the order of events are. So this would be a prime example of a path function. So the the way that it initially was is you have first of all you have your flat region, then you have the Gunnison uplift, um, then you have the volcanic ash deposited on top. The river cuts its way through the volcanic ash, and then it finds itself trapped into cutting through the Gunnison formation. So when it's all eroded away, what you actually get is the Gunnison formation with a big canyon going through the middle. However, if the order had been different and that you had had the volcanic ash deposited first, then the river cuts its way through here, then you have the Gunnison uplift, what you would then find is the river would just run around the outside of the hard Gunnison formation. But that's not the way that it happened, which is why we have the magnificent Black Canyon of the Gunnison with its uh, almost half mile deep cut through two billion year old rock. So on the far wall it's one of those places where you just walk up and look straight down. But on this side also you can sort of look straight down. It's an impressive hole in the ground, isn't it? Nah. So, that apparently is about the third largest clip in America. Two and a half thousand feet or something. No, that's wrong, it's not the Green River, it's the Gunnison River. Yeah, strange how you forget certain things and I don't know whether you'll be able to hear it, but you can hear the roar of the river in the bottom there. Apparently in the deeper parts of the valley, what with polarized lakes being the way it is, from the deeper parts of the uh, canyon, when you actually look straight up, you may not be able to see stars, although I've not actually ever talked to anyone who has. Let's go. go around where we actually fall in. Just be bold. Uh, not be too bold. I'm jumping around over there with only one hand. I might do it. I didn't die today either. I guess one should be grateful for small mercies. <laughs> 